Let's go. Let's do this. I guess I'll start it off here, Coach. You're just looking at Utah State, seven-game losing streak, no road wins this year. What's the first thing you think when you hear that? Same thing I think if they had a seven-game winning streak and and didn't win every game on the road, you know, you got to show up and play. You know, it doesn't all that all that stuff doesn't matter to me. I hope it doesn't matter to our team. You got to show up and play. You know. It, they're division one players or division one athletes. They're, they're a program that are prepping for us. just like, we're prepping for them. So you got to come in, you got to be focused and you, you uh, for it, for this, these are your last two series here. You're starting to see a lot more postponements going on. Is there almost an added intensity because every game could be the last. You know, uh, no, I'm going to have to say, no, I, I, I don't know. Let, let's change. Let's change your word around, and let's let's not talk intensity. I'm going to say, is there a higher sense of anxiety, possibly? Uh, you know, because I just think I just think that now, as you're getting closer to the end, and uh, I, I think that any time uh, I'm going to say any 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 time something hits closer to home, and what I mean by that is, obviously, our, our team knows the men's team. You know, he's in po got their games were postponed. You know, we're playing the same opponent. So, you know, does that does that cause some anxious feelings? Yeah, I would I, I would guess they're a little bit anxious about whether we're going to have a game, not have a game. Uh, you know, there's been there's been rumors about New Mexico all 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 year with their men's side. So, do the women hear that? Sure. So, yeah, is there is there probably a little bit of anxiousness? You know, from game to game or series to series? Yeah. Uh, but you know, I think right now, as far as like we approached it, you know, we're 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 scheduled to play, and we'll approach it like that's going to happen, and that's just the way it is. Gerald, after the CSU uh, games uh, in which you guys you know, put yourself in position to to make a, a bit of a run and even win that second one, you mentioned this team's got to learn how to finish. Where does that start? Learning how to how to finish off games because that's happened a few times this year for you guys. Well, just did it was have to keep working on it in practice. You try to put them into some pressure situations and try to get them to perform. But, you know, it's just basically you have to understand as a player what the situation is, um, you know, how hard you have to play down the end and, and probably, you know, who has to make the plays and how you have to make the plays. You know, you and I talked on the post game show, you know, what a big shot uh, was when uh, they just can't, we, you know, we went up four. You know, they knew what they wanted to do and who they wanted to get the ball and in whose hands and, you know, and, and she performed, hit a big three and then performed down the line. And, you know, that's just some things we looked at film, you know, as a team, you look at film, we looked at the last mm, four minutes and 15 seconds of that game, you know, and you're talking about here, where, where, where could have we have got better? What's the situation? Maybe we should have looked for instead of the situation. And then, you know, you go out and try to practice it and hope it carries over. With the San Jose State series uh, out, you've got quite a bit of time there. I mean, the 19th is your last game. Has there been any thought of you guys to adding some games, or do you guys need that that mental break before the conference tournament? Uh, we we don't know what we're doing to be honest with you. I mean, we're we're talking about a lot of things. I, you know, do we need two weeks off? No, we don't need two weeks off. I mean, that that would definitely. Um, I think set us back some, but, you know, we're, we're looking at some possibilities, but, you know, the problem is right now, like you said, everybody, everybody's at, everybody's at different stages of the season. You know, we're, we're going, well, we're, we're just happening. We're happy. We're, if knock on wood, I'm knock on wood again. You guys got me knocking on wood about a hundred times here. If we get through this and, you know, and, and we do end on time, the problem is a lot of the other teams that are around us, they're just finishing up also, and they're also trying to get in makeup games or some other things. So I don't know what's going to be the possibility of, of getting something in during that time. Now we're, we're going to try to work on that. I think we're going to see, we're, we're going to wait till next week a little bit and see, you know, exactly how this goes off with New Mexico and make sure we are on time. Because obviously if we do have one of these, a postponement either still with this series or the next series, then we will need those, those, those weeks or those days to make, to uh, get those games in. So 
you know, once again, it's just another COVID thing where, yeah, we have a whole bunch of irons in the fire, but we're not sure of anything. And it, this causes some more uncertainty. So yeah, long story short. Coach, along those lines, I was going to say, how important are these next four games because of the fact you have such a long period that you know you can't, that you aren't scheduled to play anything before you get to the tournament? Yeah, I think, you know, Trace, I think every game's important, you know, this, you know, we're out here playing, we're out here to win. I think it's important for us to finish strong. You know, we need to finish strong. We've been playing well at home. You know, I, we, we, well, I think we've played really well. I thought we played really well last week. I thought at CSU, I, I, I thought we put together two of our better games, to be honest with you. CSU is really, really good. Uh, they're a good team. They're coached well. You know, like, uh, like I said, we, I thought we put ourselves, I thought we played well the first game, you know, well enough to give ourselves a chance. And then I thought on Saturday, uh, we actually gave ourselves a chance to win. So I, I thought we played really well. I thought we played well against San Diego State. So, you know, I, I just want to keep growing that way in these next, in these last four games, you know, obviously you want to win, but you definitely want to keep going, you know, into the positive and, and you're right. And, and, uh, what what I'm kind of nervous about is 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 we're doing what we wanted to do and like you say you know you try to play well at the end and I, like I said knock on wood we have been but now if we go in if we if we keep improving and we go into a long layoff I don't know what that's going to do or what that's going to look like for us. Thank you. Coach, going back to the CSU series, there was a significant scoring differential in the second quarter. I don't have the numbers in front of me because I'm an idiot. But uh, can you pinpoint anything that went wrong in the in those second quarters? No, uh, we went back, looked at the second quarters. You know, they just they scored baskets. You know, I mean, it's the same when you look at the second quarter. It's the same as the third quarter and even the fourth quarter. You know, they just they scored some baskets. Obviously, we had a couple of breakdowns. You know, in the first game, in the in the first game, in the set in the second quarters. I think we held them. I don't have my stats either for that game, but I think they only made five threes or something like that in that game. And three of them came in that quarter and three of them and all three of them were on defensive breakdowns where we, 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 we missed what we were supposed to do. So right there's nine points, uh, you know, and then, you know, uh, just, you know, sometimes I, you know, sometimes things that work right, right then or work, you know, keep working later on. They just, they just didn't seem to go for that quarter for whatever reason. Um, then once again, I just have to give them credit. You know, they made shots and, you know, uh, it's sometimes how it goes. That's what the name of the game is. Joe, you know, what jumps out at you with Utah State uh, coming up these next two games? What what do they, they do well? You know, I think that they're a lot like just the last couple of teams we played. Uh, they transition the ball. Uh, you know, they – and, and what causes people trouble and what what's happened in I, I'm going to say here in recent years and, and it also applies to us is they um, they're a team that they're a team and I'm always going to call it a non a non traditional transition because what they do is they can have multiple people bring the ball up and you know we do that also you know we can have from our one to our four bring the ball up and transition in. Uh, depending on on what your defensive transition philosophies are, sometimes that sometimes that can cause you problems because uh, maybe uh, all of a sudden the four is pushing the ball up and you got your in our case we'd have our point guard which is starting would be Tommy, you know picking up the ball in transition and you know right there you're right there then then you got uh, three perimeter players now you got your four trying to pick up another perimeter player given your rules so. Anytime teams have, have that ability to have multiple people bring the ball up, I think in transition, you have a chance to, to have some errors and to miss some things. And, you know, uh, and I think the other thing that they, that they do do well that, you know, we've been working on is, you know, they run a couple of sets that can, that, that can put you in bind with, uh, with the number of uh, back screens and stuff. I'm going to say the number of times they swing the ball back and forth to get you into a mismatch with some back screens. So, uh, you know, we'll work on those sets and see if we can get some recognition and work on defensive transition and hope we can get that stuff taken care of. Coach, do you feel like this season has like aged you at all? 
Do I look aged? I mean, <laughs> I, I, you know, so we talked about this. We've talked about this a lot this year and, and I, I'm not the only coach because I'm, I, you know, I'm, I, I often wonder, you know, am I, am I the one, you know, is it just me? And, you know, when I talk to even coaches that are younger that I'm, that I know, and they go, you know, this season has just seemed long. It's, it's this, it's just been hard and, and has it aged me? It's, it's, it's worn on me. Let's put it that way. I mean, I, I don't know. Age is age is age. I'm, you know, but it's, it, it, it is, it is a, it is a, it's a mental challenge. Um, uh, it's every day. I mean, let this, like you guys said, you know, you, you hear that, you know, you talk to somebody and their games are getting canceled or postponed and you're going, Oh, can we just get through, you know, it's just, it's, it's just a lot of things, but, but basketball. And I think, you know, I, I'm just going to say once again, to our, to our team's credit, to our women, that are out there every day, you know, I, I have to take my hats off to them because um, I, I know if it's been this hard on, on me and we, our staff was talking about it yesterday, the staff feels the same way, you know, uh, and if it's that hard on them, you know how hard it has to be on our team because they're, they're putting academics on their plate on top of everything, you know, with school starting again, you know, and these guys are talking about classes, let's, Let's face it. They're talking about taking classes you and I never took. I mean, I mean, you know, they're 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 saying they're they're talking about all these things and the stress they have of that now, um, uh, the stress of taking those classes online, but needing to have you know some help from somebody. But you know who's around to help you? And then, like I said, for meeting box lunches, yeah, it it it's it's been it's been long. I think on all of us, and you know, you're just you know, getting through it. And I give them I give them all the credit in the world because. Now I'm a jinx myself. I know I'm knock on wood again. I, I this team for uh, for for the number of games that we've had. You know, obviously, obviously we haven't won all of our games, but they've shown up every game and have played extremely hard. And I know you know Keith's on here, and you know Keith I think can attest to that. That you know we didn't always play great offensively, or we you know we missed some things. But what this team has done is there's not been one game where we could walk away and go, well, we, we, we lost a day of lack of effort. And, and that's, that, that, that's a credit to those, to those individuals. Along those lines, coach, I mean, not to get too far in a reflective period, but I mean, how much does that encourage you for the next season when you don't have to deal with a lot of this BS? Well, you know, I, yeah. And like I said, I, you know, I, I, I think our group, uh, you know, our young, our young players are, are getting better and better. You know, I think you see Ola, uh, you know, hitting some big shots, uh, you know, starting to understand what it takes to play at this level. Um, you know, Marta the same. I, I really like what, what we got going in, in our group of players. And I, I do, I, I believe the future is bright. It's just going to be, you know, I, I hope next year is better. You know, I mean, I mean, you know, you talk about vaccines, you talk about everything that's, that's going on. And then somebody says, well, it might be until the end of summer till somebody's vaccinated, you know, and so on and so forth. So, you know, without, re yeah, like you said, without getting all whatever, I, I do like this group and I think we've done what we needed to do. We're getting better, better, better. And, uh, you know, the question that you guys brought to me a lot was, well, have we, does this team or have we figured out yet who we are? I think we are starting to figure out who we are. I think we're at that stage where, you know, uh, like a McKinley Bradshaw is really, really comfortable with who she is and what her role is, but yet she's getting better and better defensively and she's understanding to be more aggressive offensively. I think Jay Johnson has become one of the better individual defenders on our team and she stepped up and she's accepted that role. You know, it's, it's almost now where they can look up at the clock uh, as the game's running and they go, okay, we're into our rotations of subs and they know you know, who's going in and, and what's expected of them at that time. And so, you know, I, I really like, I really like where we've gone. And like I said, over the next four games, I hope we just continue to improve and then somehow, somehow try to keep that edge until, until the tournament comes about.